Are you looking to play one of your older games, but you don't want to grind through the entire game? You just want everything unlocked from the get-go? Then following on from our last tutorial in Duck Station, a PlayStation 1 emulator, today we're going to be looking at how you can swap out the saves within the application itself and by using a PlayStation 1 save manager. So we're going to start within Duck Station itself. Launch the program and then go to Tools and then Memory Card Editor. In the window that appears on the left hand side, treat this as Memory Card Slot 1 and the right hand side as Slot 2. You can create a new memory card using these two icons or open a memory card using either of these folders. You can also use the drop down to put a memory card in a specific slot. Your mounted card will then appear in these boxes once you've assigned them to a slot. And the saves will also appear in this box. The PlayStation 1 memory card works in blocks, with each new entry accounting as one block, up to a maximum of 15. If you've got Duck Station set to create a new memory card for each game based on its title or serial number, it will automatically create when you make your first save in-game and you can use the drop down to identify that card and any saves will appear in the box below. If you've got Duck Station set to have a shared memory card, this will be exactly the same as it would be if you was using a memory card in a PlayStation 1 console. You can open up your shared cards by using the drop down and assign it to a slot. Regardless of which setup you've chosen, you can still transfer saves between cards. To do that, click on the block that you want to move and press either of these arrows to move the block across onto the other card. If you want to keep a save and make a backup of it, then click on the block and press export. Select the folder that you want to put your save into, give the save a name and then press save at the bottom of the window. Let's say you've downloaded a save. Of course, make a backup of your current save first, just in case something goes wrong. What you then want to do is click on your existing save and then press delete. The reason for this is because if you try to import a save while a save already exists, it doesn't seem to work. Once your old save has been deleted from the memory card, go down to the bottom of Duck Station and press import file find where your downloaded save is and once it appears within the memory card you can then come down to the bottom of the application and press either save button depending on which side of the program you've actually opened the memory card in. If you get this error when importing a file it means that you've actually downloaded a memory card but don't worry you can import this card and still use the file from it. Open the card in another slot Click on the existing save within that memory card and press one of the arrows to transfer the file over. Another way to import saves is through the website that you can see on screen now. I'll leave a link to it in the video description and in a pinned comment. Once you're here, scroll down and click on releases. Now in here you'll find various builds of a program called Memcard Rex. The version I'm using is the 1.9 version, but you can download other versions and try them out if you want to. Click on Assets and this will bring down a drop down. If you then click on the zip file, this will begin the download. Once it's downloaded, find where your file is, right click and as long as you've got software such as 7-zip, WinRAR or any form of file archiver, extract the file. Once extracted, you can then delete the zipped folder. Click through the extracted file until you see all of its contents. You can then click on Memcard Rex to open up the application. Memcard Rex can read a variety of different save files from a few different systems, but make sure that the files you're using are PlayStation 1 compatible. For example, if they're from a PlayStation 3 virtual memory card, they're not going to work. So you've got your save manager, but now you actually need some saves. A website that I use is gamefaqs.gamespot.com and when on this website, you can search for the game that you want to find saves of. I'm going to use Tony Hawk Pro Skate 2 as an example. As we can see here on the games page, there is a saves tab. 
and this particular game has many saves that I can download. It also seems really obvious, but if you're trying to use, let's say, a North American save with a European copy of the game, they're not compatible with each other either, and therefore the save is not going to work. So once you've found a compatible save, simply click through to download it. Now that you've got your save, you can open up Memcard Rex. Go to File and then Open. Then click on your downloaded save and this will load the save into one of the free slots. You can then right click and select Copy to Temp Buffer. You of course will need an existing save to copy this new save onto. At this point, go and find where your Duck Station saves are. And for me, that's in the main Duck Station application folder and in a folder called Mem Cards. Because of the way I've got DuckStation set up, it creates a new memory card for every single game that I play. This method will work for both a shared card or an individual card per game. At this point, just drag and drop this save from the MemCards folder into MemCard Rex. It'll open up in another tab within the program. So go into this tab and right click on the block the save is in and then press paste from temp buffer. Now go to File and then Save. All you then have to do is boot up the game that you've just swapped the save of and the save should load. But occasionally you might need to go into the game's options and then load data. At this point the save should be good to go. But once again I'll remind you if you want to keep your older save before you do the swap, make sure you make a backup of it somewhere on your system. Just something quick, if you did want to make a backup of your save with Memcard Rex, it is possible. Click on the slot your save is in and then go up to Edit and then Export Save. And then of course, select the folder where you want your save to go, give it a name and then press Save at the bottom of the window to back it up. And it's that simple. That's how you can swap out the saves within DuckStation, the PlayStation 1 emulator. If this guide has helped you, leave a like and feel free to share the video around. Of course, if you've got any questions regarding save swaps, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If you want to learn more about DuckStation, there's a full guide on how to set it up on the channel and I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. And finally, if you like these sorts of guides, there'll be more of them coming in the future.